In this video, I'm going to show you some different things you can do with a ladder. This is one of Diamond Football Company's ladders. Now, we all know we can do different footwork for a ladder, and we'll show you some of that at the end. But today is about showing you different ways to position the ladder to create some versatility in your session, and then you can add the different footwork again, which we'll put on at the end. So, I'm going to use a rebounder for my service, but we can obviously use servers, we can have dead balls to dive on. Now our first position, if we've created a right angle or an upside down L with our footwork, which is going to bring us into the middle of the goal. Now we could work that both sides. You can obviously do six, eight reps with a server, okay, and you can add different servers as well. We can now move the rebounder and come out on an angle. So in this next one, we've changed the L. It's going straight into down the line of this rebounder. Now you can move the runs just in case you haven't got a lot of space. So now we're going over the sides, and then come forward into our stage. Over the sides. And again, you can have dives, volleys from your servers. When we've done that, we just flip it over and we work the other side. So now we've put our ladder in a V. So if we were doing forward feet, we could come in to an angled, safe here or working on your side and another version is we can recover back in to out of our sides come back in so it's safe out on our sides recover sit safe so in this is next one each run creates nine squares so you could do this session with the ladder on the goal line or in front of you so you can switch it each time so we can have calls of up to nine so a goalkeeper could go into one two three five six seven eight nine so when the keeper calls nine they're in and they say so if it was two double feet in set save nine in double feet set save but to make that a little bit easier we've got colors as well, so yellow, in, set, save, orange, in, set, save, blue, in, set, save. So if you did spin this and put this on the goal line and our server's shooting here, we could come in there, spin and save. So I've half my ladder because of space purposes and you guys can do the same. This is now starting to look a little bit more traditional where we're coming forward into saves. So I just wanted to show you one other static ball it can be served. It's starting on the side of the ball so if you're going to get a shot and you go through the ladder out into your dive and then you get up through your ladder out into your dive. Up through the ladder into the dive. Okay so now I'm just going to show you some simple exercises to do in the ladder, the footwork that we could do in any of those different setups we had. So the first one is one foot in each gap. Then we can move on to two feet in each gap. Then we can move on to working on our sides here. I'll show you the other way. So it's two feet in each gap here. Again on our sides we can go in and out. In and out. We can now take ourselves right through so we're here. And into our safe. I'll show you again from this side. So we go right through and then out. Right through and then out. Now we can bring in our side step in. So we can do that with the ladder here. And we can also do that with the ladder on the goal line and then recovering into save. 
So, that could be session one. Session two can be on the goal line. Session three is our right angle, and then switch it to come out this way for session four. Session five is to start to work in a V, recovering or going out to the angle. And then session six is the final dive, just back into the ladder, step and dive. I hope this video with our ladder has helped give you some more ideas. The idea today was to give you variation of how to use this, not about what footwork to do in it, so how we can position it to sort of bring variation to the goalkeeper training session that you're doing. And this can be done with a rebounder, a static ball, or a server and add more to it, more serves to make it more difficult. Just make sure that we're not going too far around the goal. Keep it very compact. I'm Remy Matthews, come join me at Sales Pro Training. Train like me, train like the pros at Sales Pro Training. <laughs>